So I realized after that last video that I shouldn't have showed you the logical editor yet. I should have really showed you MIDI, MIDI modifiers first because it makes the logical editor make just a whole lot more sense. Um, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit and show you guys how to use MIDI modifiers today. Uh, so I just got this piano roll open here. I'm just going to draw. I still have that beatbox kit open we used in that last video. That's fine. I'm just going to draw a whole row of those little beats, right? So that sounds like this. Not terribly exciting, I think. Well, who knows. Um, but let's close that now. Now they have that tracked, I'm going to open up MIDI modifiers. And these are great, essentially, because it allows us to uh, take this data and just filter it whenever we play it back. Um, as you can tell, this doesn't sound very human. It's very robotic and kind of boring. But using this, uh, what we can do is we can actually just transpose all of it. And we can just give it different values to uh, transpose to. So that's easy and it can be really useful if you're working in songs and need a key change or something and uh, you just want to do it quickly. I mean, this is a way to do it. Um, but it also has these randomized features down here. So I could randomize the pitch. So I'll say, uh, let's go up to, let's just start with zero and one. <laughs> Right, so now it'll alternate between this sample and the sample above it. But I can keep going up. So that's pretty cool. And we could also just randomize the velocity in the same kind of way. We'll just give it a minimum value, make it go up a little bit louder. <laughs> And I'm, I'm not actually changing the notes. I'm just allowing uh, all of these notes to be randomized in terms of their pitch and in terms of their velocity or volume, their intensity, uh, which is really cool. Um, so anyway, often if you're, this is a problem you run into if, if you're if you're uh, clicking in your parts, especially especially things like drums, you know, it's going to be very square and very vanilla, very plain. Uh, sometimes it'll be really useful just to open up MIDI modifiers and say, you know, let's add a little bit of randomness. Maybe you don't want to use pitch randomness, but maybe you want to use a little bit of position randomness, you know, so it'll be a little bit further and back in time, and maybe a little bit of velocity randomness. Right? It kind of sounds more like a real human is playing that, even though it's, it's a completely, you know, wrong sample I should be using to do that. If we loaded just a more vanilla drum sample uh, into this, I think it would work better. How about just that? We'll just shift all these right there. Has a little more of a human quality to it. So anyway, that's your introduction to MIDI modifiers. Uh, you can use them on any MIDI track uh, and as well as instrument track. So they work on both MIDI tracks and instrument tracks, uh, as you can see right here as I just loaded. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.